Here are one of your tail rotor bell cranks right there. Coming off your tail rotor bell crank, here's your uh, another joint bolting point. Make sure it has a castle nut with the cotter pin installed right there as well. Checking for leaks, here's your uh, dust boot for your tail rotor drive shaft and your seal. Make sure that's not leaking either. Notice the safety wire going around the top and the bottom. Make sure it's in the tightening position. Here's your filler tube, okay, or your filler plug. I believe there's thread. There's threads on the top, and I believe that is for other uh, uh, equipment you can install as far as like tracking and bal or balancing the tail. So coming across this is your tail rotor pitch links. A little different design than the Robinsons. Same concept. They can twist barely, and they shouldn't have any lateral or vertical movement. These small washers on here, that's uh, for balancing the tail. So you can tell that, look at all the weights on that one. And then look on that one so you can tell that this tail, this side, needed a lot more weight to get everything in balance. So coming off this tail rotor pitch link, see this uh, elastomeric bearing? That's your teeter bearing essentially. And there's marks. There's one set of tick marks there, there, there on the other side, and at the bottom with a cotter pin, uh, a crown nut, and a cotter pin installed. See this rubber bearing is working properly. So what we're going to do, you're going to put pressure on one of the uh, tail rotors blades. You're going to twist it. See how the rubber is twisting? They should all twist evenly. Both directions. So now we're going to go the other way and see what happens here. All the way from stop to stop. So you check the movement. So you check the movement that we just checked in here. Each of the four. If None of, if say one of them does not move when you're uh, moving the blade back and forth, then you know that bearing has uh, been broken in a portion. Check the same thing on that bearing as well. So, so coming down from the elastomeric bearing, crown nut right here, working down the blade, the bolt on the tail rotor blade with the the wonderful torque stripe. You're going to check for any big dings debonding issues in this blade. Here's your blade root. Here's your abrasion strip right here on the leading edge. Make sure it's nice and smooth. No debonding around the edges and it looks safe enough to fly. That's about it. And You do that on both blades. Coming all the way up. Alright, now we're going to inspect the front side of the tail rotor gearbox. This is where the tail rotor drive shaft comes down the tail boom into the tail rotor gearbox and out to the to the blade. So, so we need to inspect where the gearbox and uh, drive shaft couple. You can see it right there. Make sure you're going to be turning the blades. We're, we're not going to turn the blades since we're inside the hanger. But you can see the attachment points. There's safety wire. You, there's no damage allowed at the tail rotor drive shaft coupling into the tail rotor gearbox. So, very essential piece of your pre-flight, because that would really stink to uh, lose your tail rotor somehow. Another check for the tail rotor, make sure everything's linked up properly. Go ahead and move the tail rotor up and down. Make sure your main rotor corresponds. You know, if you push, if you turn the tail rotor forward, the blade should turn forward. If you go back, the blade should turn back. Now, there should be, um, unless something's not hooked up right, um, you should be able to move this thing three quarters of an inch. The main rotor should be corresponding with that. So if you turn it like a couple inches and still nothing's moving, that's probably something you need to have checked out by your mechanic. So that's just one more check that what isn't on a Robinson checklist, but it's, uh, it's a good thing to check. Alright, so coming down the tail boom, once again, we're looking for any dings, cracks, any damage of any kind, we are looking for damage allowed on this tail boom at all. So you want to make sure you do a good pre-flight, make sure you're not busting any of your limitations. Here's a little inspection panel for the tail rotor drive shaft. Another inspection panel, just make sure those are properly installed, nice and tight. There's a good push point for moving the aircraft around. Here's your exhaust. 
coming up. Just inspect the skin, all the rivets. Here's another inspection panel. 369 Alpha Victor. Beautiful morning here. Here's the pins that callip the the turbine, the engine there. We'll inspect that here in a little bit. So walking up here, still inspecting. I like to check everything on the outside first. That way I get a good clear picture of everything. Your attachment pins or your hinges for your door. Nice and tight. Rivets there. Looking good. Alright, same inspection process for the left skid. You're going to have three skid shoes. One on this back strut, one on the front strut, and then one further up where the, uh, where the skid tube bends. Make sure those are adequate and they're still on the bottom of the skids. Here is the um, attachment point for your strut going onto your skid tube. Make sure they're nice and tight. Coming up the, the, the strut fairing, all the screws should be nice and tight. Everything should be tight on this thing. What is this called? This is called the strut cuff. This is an inspection portion for the damper. Just pull it down and you'll look in behind there. Make sure, make sure that your uh, shock, your damper, is not leaking. So, that's pretty cool. See where they've beefed up, uh, they've doubled this up for the frame. Check for debonding. You know, you know, anything that doesn't look good. Here's your left step up into the rear door. There's one attachment pin, which we'll look at here in a second. I want to get everything done on the outside first. Everything looks good at this point. Step looks nice and clean. Looks nice and tight, but we'll double check that when we open the door. Here's the front left cuff around the strut fairing coming on down. Check all the screws. Here's our front left step. Once again, this is the strut fairing itself. Attachment points right there. So we have checked the tail rotor gearbox area, the empennage, the tail boom, all the skins, inspection panels on the left we side. Check both struts, strut fairings, skid tubes, steps, position light, front left. We'll make sure those work here. There it is. Pretty unique design. Alright, so we've opened up the left rear door. Notice the seats are nice. Coming on down, here's your step. Here's the pen that holds that step in place. Now it's hard to get to because the way they have this carpet installed, you have to take the Velcro off to get to the pen. So there's no way that pen's coming out, but you still want to make sure it's there. Last thing you need to do is having have this step come out in flight. Belts are nice and secure, seats are secure. Let's see, you got your heater vent right there, similar to the airlines. There's really nothing to inspect on this side, the way this interior is set up. Um, all you can do really is make sure all your screws are in place and seats are not going to go anywhere. And your door is going to be locked too. So go ahead and shut this. I like to go up there. Up to lock. That is it. Let's go f check the front door. So front door, we're going to open it. So here's the left front. Check the collective. We're going to be checking all their all of our controls prior to start up our, you know, our full travel. Right now, we just want to make sure everything's everything is installed properly. All right, so coming on down. No binding. Everything looks like it's plugged in. This is the electrical terminal for the inputs on the collective itself. Coming on in. Coming on in. The plugs look good. Right beside the lower portion of the driver's seat, left side, we'll come down here and there's also another door pin, similar to what was on the other side. This is for the left rear door. Coming on up, right next to the pilot, if you look here, kind of hard to see on film, there's another pin for the back left door. Make sure those are in, you don't want that door coming off. Seat belts, check the inertia lock. Works. Looks nice and new. Good condition. Everything works, properly secured, bolting points are good. Coming on up is our main rotor brake. You just pull that lever down and it clamps the brake and stops the rotor. 